Hi everyone. Okay, as part of the data structure for beginner series, today I will just talk about the basics of the binary tree. Means what is binary tree and as a beginner, what you can start with. Because in the previous video, we have talked about the basics of array, basics of the linked list, and we will be covering about stack and queue also. But today we will just start with the basics of the binary tree. I will give you some idea of what you can start with and what are the best platform you can use as a beginner. And so basic thing we will learn about the binary tree today. Now, first question which will come to your mind is, hey, what is binary tree? So binary tree is nothing but a tree in which every node can have maximum two children. That is known as the binary tree. So binary tree, what are the examples of the binary tree? Let me just show you from the Google. If you will search on the Google, you will get these are the things. And you can understand about the binary tree. Here you can see, for example, uh, let us talk about this one. What you can see here, there is one tree in which we have root as one, and this node has two children, two and three. Now two has two children, five and six, but three is not having any children. So if you will compare that, every node can have maximum two children. Here every node is satisfying that property. It means this is the example of the binary tree. If you will jump to this one. Here, what we can see in root A, which is having two nodes, two children, which is fine. So similarly, B also has two nodes, D also has two children, C also has two children. But if you talk about the root uh, node F, which has only one children, and E and G, H, I, J, all have all are the leaf nodes. So here you can see every node is having either zero children or one or two. There is, there is not a node which is having more than two children. It means we can see this is also the example of the binary tree. Understood? All right. So now we'll talk about the next thing once again. Yeah. Next we'll talk about the basic operations in the tree. So whenever we are saying we have the tree, let's say, we understood about the tree. Now, next question, which is, hey, how to insert node in the tree? That is the first thing which we need to learn about. Next is, once we are able to insert the node into the tree, how to delete the node from the tree? That is your second requirement. And third one is, how to search a key in, the, in, in a binary tree? So for example, let me talk about insert first of all. Let's say we have this node. Here, what you can see, there is one node, 10. Now let's say you want to insert new node. In case of binary tree, where you can insert the new node? You can insert anywhere, wherever you want, first of all. But we can take one simple case that, hey, we will always insert the node in the level order way. What is the level order we will say now? Level order is nothing but just what are the node at the level one. And then you will jump to the level two. From left to right, just check what are the node at the level two. Then you will jump to the level three. What are the node at the level three? This way you will traverse all the node. So this technique of traversing is known as the level order traversal. So here, we will always follow this particular technique while inserting the node in the binary tree. But in case of binary search tree, in case of different different tree, you will have different logic for insertion. But in case of binary tree, there is no particular order. So we can insert the node in any order which we want or in any place wherever we want, right? So here in this first example, Let's say you want to insert a new node. Let's say you want to insert five, right? So where you can insert? We can insert node at any place. I can insert node five at here, okay? Because if you will traverse the level order way, 
10 is already traversed, you will come to the second level, you will see, hey, first node is, is empty, so I can insert 5 here. And we are done. Let us jump to the second tree. Here also, let's say you want to insert 5. Where you will insert? Traverse the first, first level. This is fine, all nodes are completely free. We cannot insert in the level 1. Let us traverse the level 2. So level 2, all the nodes are completely filled. We cannot insert here. Let us proceed to the level 3. Here we can see that here we have the place to insert. So here I will simply insert 5. Right? This is the node which we have inserted. So this technique you need to follow and you will be easily able to understand it. Now we will understand about the code and all in detail. But this is the simple basic overview I'm giving you so that you can you can understand what is the tree and how to insert the node into the tree. Now let me jump to the next slide where we will talk about how to delete the node in the binary tree. So here we have understood about these things, how to insert node, how to, and where to insert the node. Let us understand about the delete operations. Okay, now there are, okay, let's say you want to delete some particular key. Now, first of all, you need to search about the key that, hey, where is the key present in the tree? Then only you can delete the key, right? So they, now, once you got the key, there can be three different possibilities. You got the key, which is the leaf node. Or it can be possible that you want to delete a node who is having only one children. Or third possibility is you want to delete a node which is having two children. So in this case, in the first tree, you can see here um, that you want to delete, let's say, node number three. So you can see three doesn't have any children. So three is the leaf node. And you can just delete it. No need to do anything. All right. In case of second, where your tree, your node has only one children, now how you will delete it? So here we will follow the same approach which we have followed in the insertion. So the node which we are deleting, we will replace the node with the last node in the level order tree parcel and we will delete the last node of the level order tree parcel. What I'm saying is, let me explain. Let's say here, you want to delete two, okay? Now you want to delete this node number two. What you can do? Just replace the last node of the level order traversal, which is seven. So just replace two with seven. So just bring seven here, and your this node value will now will look like seven now, will be seven now. Right? And instead of two, now just delete this node. This is the node which you need to delete. Done, right? So simple logic, there are two things here. Just find the node which you want to delete. Okay? And replace the node data with the last node in the level order traversal and delete the last node of the level order traversal and we are done with that. Let us understand one more example. Let's say you want to delete two here. Okay, you want to delete this two. Now, what I told you, just replace the node with the last node in the level order traversal, which is nothing but seven. So just replace the seven in place of two here and just delete the seven from the tree. And here, what you will get now, you will get seven. And we are done, right? So that is all about deletion. We will understand about the coding part. Do not worry about that. So this is all about the deletion. So here, what I'm telling is we can delete the node based on the key and replace it with the last node in the level order traversal. Now, next operation is search. This is one of the most important in the tree. Because in the tree, any question you want to solve, you need to traverse the tree. So if you will, you will be expert in this particular area, 
you can solve any questions in the tree. Now, okay, whenever you want to search a key in the binary tree, you need to traverse the complete tree in the worst case because you don't know which key you want to search. Where is the key present? It can be the last node in the tree. It can be the first node in the tree. So in the worst case, you need to traverse the complete tree, right? Now, how we can do the search? There are two famous techniques are there for searching in the tree. One is the depth first search. Second one is your breadth first search. Now, depth first search is also known as the DFS. And second one is known as the DFS. We will understand about each of these techniques in detail. So as part of the DFS, we have three different reversal techniques. One is pre-order, one is in-order, one is your post-order. Now you'll see, hey, what is pre-order? So pre-order is nothing but in the pre-order, first of all, we will print the root node. Then we will go towards left, left subtree. Then we will apply the same logic there. And once left is done, we will jump to the right subtree. So the order is print root node, then left node, then right node. In case of in order, in, so you, you can say in, it means root will be in between the left and right. So first of all, you will traverse the left subtree, then you will traverse the root node, then you will traverse the right subtree. In case of post order, post order, we will first of all traverse the left subtree, then right subtree, and then root. So here you, you can see one thing. Here left and right will be same. Your root will vary. If root is coming at the first, that is known as the pre-order. If root is coming in between, that is known as the in-order. If root is coming in the last, that is known as the post-order traversal. Right? Let me just explain you with the help of an example. Here we have one tree in which root is one. Root one has two children, two and three. Two has two children, four and five, and three has two children, six and seven. Now, what will be the pre-order? So, in the pre-order, what I told you that in case of pre-order, first of all, we will print the root. So, start from the first one, which is one. Just print it, okay? Now, what I told, after root, we will go towards left. So in the left, again, we got one new subtree in which root is two. So just print the root. Go towards left because after root, we'll go towards left. Then you got four. Four is again root. Four is not having left and right. So now we'll jump to the two. For two, root is already printed. Left is also printed. We left with the right. So right is five. All right, now we are done with the root and we are done with the left of the one. So two, four, five is also done. We will apply the same logic for the right subtree of one. So this way you will get root, which is three, then left, six, then right, which is seven. Now let's apply the in order on the same tree. So first of all, we will go towards left. Left, left. You will come to four. Four doesn't have the left tree. Just print the root node. And then four doesn't have the right subtree. So we'll jump to the parent and four two. We are done with the left. So just print the two now. Because two is the in, two is the root. Root will be printed after the left. So you will print two. Now go to the right side, you will print five. Now we are done with the left. We are done with two, four, five. Now you need to print the root, which is nothing but your one. Apply the same for the right side. So what you will get, you will get the six, then three, then seven. Now let us understand the post order for the same tree. So in the post order, first of all, you will print the left. So left, left. You came to four, you will print five because five is right. You are done with the left and right, you will print the root. So after five, you will print the two. Now this is done, you will go towards right side now. Again, we will apply the same logic, six, seven, and then root, which is three. Now, left is done, right is done, root is left, so just print the root. So this is the in-order, pre-order, post-order reversal for this binary tree. I hope you understood 
If you feel anything is not clear, please comment out. I will be happy to help you in the next video. Okay, so this is all about the pre-order, in-order and post-order. We will understand the coding part for each and every traversal. I will explain you how to do the uh, iterative traversal, how to do the recursive traversal for each one of these. So we are done with the DFS. Now we will jump to the PFS. So in case of PFS, we already understood about the level order traversal. So first of all, we will traverse the first level, then we will traverse the second level, then we will traverse the third level. So if I will talk about this example, okay? Now let me just explain you the level order traversal for the same, same question. So what we will get is level order traversal will be, so first of all, you will traverse the level one node, which is only one. Then you will go to the level two. How many nodes you have? Two nodes after the left uh, and start from the left side. So first you will print two, then you will print three. Jump to the third level, you print four, five, six, and seven. So this way you will print all the nodes in one by one. And this is the level of the traversal of the same binary tree. I hope it is clear. So this, these were the basics of the binary tree. Now you will say, hey, how to practice these questions and all, how to start. So what you can do, I think the best platform to learn is gigs for gigs Just go to the gigs for gigs and just go to the data structures. In the data structure, you can choose the binary tree. Once you search for the binary tree, you can understand about the introduction part. Because today, we just talk about the introduction part. You can see about, you can learn about this thing. So you can try to go through these topics and you will, go, you will get some idea about the introduction of the binary tree. In the next part, we will talk about the traversal and everything. So I would say, please spend some time. And in the next video, we will talk about the, we will write down the code for each of these drivers in detail. If you feel anything is not clear, please comment out. I will be happy to help you. Thank you everyone.